What if you could hire a top tier growth consultant for your business or side project for just $20 a month? Get their advice on how to find customers, untapped business opportunities, how to get your business in front of more people, or go viral on social media. Well, this ChatGBT prompt claims to do just that. This Reddit post right here went viral on X and it claims that this ChatGBT prompt can replace a $20,000 a month growth consultant. But you can't believe everything you see online, so I wanna find out if that is true. So in this video, I'm gonna use this prompt with a real business and find out if this prompt is legit, if these ideas are any good, and if this prompt could actually replace a $20,000 a month growth consultant. Let's dive in. So we have the prompt right here on Reddit. It's in the prompt engineering subreddit, and it says drop your biz into this and it'll map your competitors, find untapped levers, rank your best growth plays, Feels like hiring a $20,000 strategy consultant. Here's the prompt. We can just go ahead and grab this prompt and we will throw it into ChatGPT. And we need to replace some of the variables here. So company, industry, list or paragraph of the biggest obstacles you're aware of, slowing growth. So anywhere where there's the double brackets, we need to input basically our custom results for our business. So I actually own Wilmington NC Fencing, a fencing company in Wilmington, North Carolina. Now we're just doing lead gen right now. So we're not actually doing the fences, but I wanna ask our new growth consultant how I can grow this business and get more customers. So what we will do here is we will start inputting the variables. So the business name is going to be Wilmington NC Fencing. Industry is fencing. Brief one paragraph description of what the company does today, including key revenue streams, pricing model, customer segments, and any known growth tactics we use. So we are fencing company Wilmington in C, we provide, let's say we build fences for locals in the Wilmington NC area. Now I'm gonna make up some numbers here. I'm gonna say we did 55 in revenue last year. We get most of our clients through Google SEO. What else can we say here? We charge people our cost plus 30 percent so i know a lot of fence companies do that they'll say like hey this is going to cost me ten thousand dollars to build so i will charge you thirteen thousand so the three thousand dollars is my profit i'm going to leave it right there now the next one is list or paragraph of the biggest obstacles you're aware of slowing user growth rising cac i'm going to say biggest obstacles are finding more customers we don't have many leads. And then I'm gonna say our costs are high because we can't buy in bulk because we don't have a ton of volume. Okay, there's that. Map the competitive landscape. Identify three to five direct competitors plus one to two adjacent space disruptors. So it's gonna do all this for me. All of this part is not for me. So this is the context that I'm giving it. And then the task is what it's going to actually do. So approach, that's what it's actually going to do in the task. And then the output format, return only the following answers. Okay, well, I say we send it. So let's see if this prompt can actually be our growth consultant for Wilmington NC Fencing. Here we go. Searching the web. Answer. Okay, superior fence and rail. Here's our competitive landscape. And actually, why it's working on this, I am going to take these exact instructions and I am going to give it the same exact prompt, but I'm going to tell it to use deep research. So deep research is basically digging a lot deeper, spending a lot more time, and let's see how different the answer is gonna be here. So let's click send. And so what deep research does a lot of the time is it's going to ask you some clarifying points. So just like if you are working with a growth consultant, they wouldn't just be like, give us this info. Okay, thanks. They'd be like, okay, well, do you offer residential fencing only or do you do commercial? They're gonna ask all these follow-up questions for more discovery. So I'll go through these. One, I'll just say, we just do residential. What types of 
fences, let's say wood and vinyl. Now I actually don't want to like go way over the top. I know the more information you feed it, the better, but I want to see how much it can just like go off of, you know, what it goes out and finds itself. Are you open to expanding services? Yes, always open to adding more services for, do you serve all of Wilmington? Yes, and 50 plus miles surrounding. Are you currently using any software for quoting? No software right now, just spreadsheets. Boom, great, I'll analyze the residential fencing market within and around Wilmington. So starts research, it has like a loading bar here, so it's gonna take a little while, but as you can see, they're building out like much more of a full report that you probably get from a consultant rather than just a quick answer. So let's go back to our normal prompt here. Competitive landscape, it gave us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight competitors. Now, all it really did here is sort of just like grab the description from their website. Opportunity gaps, bulk purchasing agreements, established partnerships, financing options for clients, enhanced online presence, invest in comprehensive digital marketing strategy, including SEO, social media engagement, online reviews, diversification into commercial projects. So that's not a bad idea, but again, it's not like that great. Value added services offer additional services such as maintenance packages, custom designs, expedited installation. Okay. That's not bad. Prioritize actions. Okay. So it has action the impact that it's gonna give us, so one through five, the feasibility, like how easy is it gonna be able to do, rationale behind it, and first next step. So I like this table, implementing financing options. So impact is gonna be a five, feasibility is a four, attracts price sensitive customers, research and partner with finance companies, enhanced digital marketing. If I'm gonna to be totally honest, I think this is kind of garbage. I don't love this at all. Now, again, this is not deep research. So it just gave me like eight competitors. It gave me like a couple ideas. Like these are generic. I feel like you could feed these exact opportunity gaps to like any business, like bulk purchasing agreements. Okay, great. But like, how do I actually do that? Who do I go talk to? Financing options for clients. Like, great. Thanks. You're a genius. Enhancing online presence. Everybody could do that. Everybody should be enhancing their online presence. Why would you not? diversification into commercial projects. I rate this a one out of 10. I think this is pretty garbage. And I think I could have gotten this same output with a much more basic prompt. Okay, let's check back on our deep research. So it's reading a bunch of different fencing websites, 11 sources at the moment. So it's taking a little while. Let's give it a second here to see what it gives us. All right, so deep research just got done. It took 10 minutes, 28 sources, 126 searches, but this is all not in the format that I want it. So I'm gonna say, follow up question here. Can you be output a little easier to read in text formatting? Sure, here's a cleaner, more readable, beautiful. Okay, competitive landscape, superior fence and rail, Wilmington positioning. So this is what I'm talking about. I don't just want some, you know, one or two sentences on, oh, this company does this. Pricing, economies of scale from national bulk buying, moves just open in Wilmington. Okay, expanding in nearby counties. So it's giving me like all of their competitive intel as well. Angie and Home Advisor positioning lead marketplace. They're not even a fence company, but they're technically in the fencing business, right? Because they get leads and they send them out to fencing companies. So opportunity gaps, Google local service ads. So top of page placements, yep, untapped by you. That's right, I'm not running them right now. So they knew that. Referral partnerships, that's a good one. I didn't even think about that one. Quoting and CRM. So you're still using spreadsheets, tools like Jobber or My Salesman. Offer repairs and maintenance, fence care subscription. I kind of like this 10 to $15 a month for yearly inspections, cross sell other services. So pressure washing, review blitz campaign. So get your first 50 to hundred, you're behind. They could see I don't have any reviews. Prioritized action. So they took all of these, same exact table that we had from our generic one, but impact feasibility, this is great. Okay, so I am way happier with this from deep research. And that's what I've been finding a lot recently. Deep research, the answers are just so much better. It just takes that extra time. I mean, it took 10 minutes to answer this, but like that is well worth the wait because this answer was so much better. So here's what I gotta say. Does this replace a $20,000 a month growth consultant? No. 
And the reason why is because these are all somewhat generic, right? I could probably come up with most of these myself. And the biggest part is that it doesn't implement it for you, right? So a good consultant will also go in and say, hey, I'll do all this for you, or you go find agencies for it. So is it going to replace a $20,000 a month consultant? No, but this is awesome. How I could see using this is one for your own business. If you run your own business, you should run this right now and find all the blind spots that you're currently missing and growth opportunities. Number two, if you're trying to go get customers for, let's say your marketing or growth agency, this is incredible. I would take my top 50 accounts right now, go into ChatGPT, plug in all the information, do the deep research, put this in a report and send it over to them as an initial outreach. Say, hey, look, I put together this entire report for you. It has all of the growth opportunities that you're missing right now in your business. And by the way, I can take care of all of this for you. So this is the perfect entrance into businesses for a growth consulting agency or a growth agency. And so for that reason, I think this prompt is awesome, but no, it's not gonna replace a growth consultant. Use this or tweak it however you want. If you run any sort of business, try this prompt out. And as always, appreciate you guys. Let me know what you think of the comments and peace.